Hello and welcome back to the average. Pasta markers, fluorescent colours. Let's see. These are water soluble colours that feel like an oil marker apparently. So not sure what to expect. Pasta is sincerely recommended to creators as a new drawing alternative. Okay, well let's check this out. These look so interesting. They just look really cool. I really like this kind of 60s aesthetic that they have and they come with stickers that you can put on yourself, I guess. I don't know why they don't just come with them on them, but okay. These are really weird because they're like a fluorescent marker, but then when you get them, you have to twist them to make them like come out. So they're kind of like crayony, but twistables so weird and they're also water soluble they're a little bit like those karen de ash uh water soluble crayons that i've tried before that i love so i'm very excited to try these is what i'm assuming anyway <laughs> i hope they're like karen de ash because that'll be really cool it's like what is this like it's really strange so i turned it and it's just come out a little bit and it looks like a highlighter pen right now it doesn't look like a crayon at all it just looks completely different I've been drawing Bridgerton recently because I'm obsessed with Bridgerton, so I thought I would just like colour in them with these super bright lu luminous colours, but that's what it looks like on. It's not the texture I was expecting at all. It literally feel like kids crayons, but super smooth. It kind of feels like using a stick of butter, but then it comes out with this crayony type of texture. Okay, let's try it with a bit of water. Whoa. It just completely comes up and leaves no marks. It's very strange to try it. Let's put the stickers on and let's put the pink pasta sticker on. It tells you where to put it, but uh, where do I put it? Just want to get the right side. So you have to put it here. Oh, me doing this is going to be a little bit off, but I'm going to try. Mm, can you just get in there, I don't know. It's got little fold marks, which is interesting. So it tells you where it goes, but ah, there we go, beautiful. Very well done, me. And I'm gonna try and see what it looks like on the dress, because yeah, it's it looks like a crayon, but it feels like butter, it's so strange. I really, I'm enjoying these textures. I do like how they look. I wanna see how much you get in one of the pens as well, because that's like really interesting. So this is how much you get. In a while, I'm scared that it's gonna fall out. That's the only thing. About that much, right? I wonder if you can buy refills because these seem pretty sturdy to get refills for. And so maybe like in the country that they're from, you can buy the refills, but maybe because they're imported, onto the website that I bought them from, then maybe they're like quite difficult to get. I don't know. They would have to tell me or I would have to research it a little bit more. Or maybe you guys researched it. I don't know. I've never seen these before, have you? Kind of like the, the illustration style that you can get with them. Like, you know when you kind of over, go over the lines a little bit. Orange. It's kind of fun, you know, if you like putting labels on things. I want to get them so they match. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I really like the aesthetic of these pens. You know, not really important, but it's kind of nice to have things looking pretty as well. My hands are like shaking trying to do that. It's a bit silly. <laughs> like, calm down. It's not that. It's not that deep. It's so strange. That it's called pasta. I don't know why. Beautiful. I want to get the different um, colors that aren't fluorescent out as well because I think these are quite fun. I really like the mark making you can do with them. If you're into that kind of really like illustrative mark making style, it could be fun to get. If you like crayons as well, they kind of smudge nicely together also. And I guess if you like crayons then this is kind of the step up from them, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> they're so smooth. I can't even describe how smooth they are except for you like if you had a stick of butter and you were just smooshing it down that would be what this feels like i want to do maybe a page of bridgerton people and then just color them in with you uh using these okay so i just did a quick little doodle of some bridgerton ladies because i'm a bit obsessed as uh maybe you are or not uh the stickers are peeling off a little bit which is no bueno, but you know. Also, should I peel off these little arrows? 
yeah, much nicer. I'll wear these in, I guess, and probably not get the colors quite right because I don't really have all the colors at my disposal, even though I have got like a range of colors, I guess you would say, that I could maybe make some different colors with because I have got the primary colors basically, but in neon. But I'm not sure how well that would quite look. I said before that if you use a little bit, it probably uses a lot each time I like smoosh it down. But maybe you're supposed to use them a bit more with water than I am doing. You can get some like interesting glow effects and stuff because they are neon. And I'm really liking them actually. I think they're just fun, which is really good because I love having fun with art supplies. It takes the pressure away when you can just play, if that makes sense. Just playing with how these melt with water. Um, I'm pretty sure my pen is waterproof as well, but I'm not super sure. Pesto's coming to drink my water. Thanks, Pesto. Enjoy those uh, cat sips for a second. That cat sip noise. Delightful. Well, that's her water now. We're just gonna have to wait. Are you done? Thank you. Thank you for your time. Okay, so back to this. I think a little goes a long way with some water, but and that might be why maybe you're supposed to using it a little bit more sparingly than I am, but I'm not sure. But it just becomes like this complete watercolor. It's really interesting because it super doesn't have the texture like that. And I'm not sure if I just prefer this kind of rough texture anyway. So it's so strange to me because it does look like when you first get it out, it does look a bit like felt tip pen kind of texture, but nope, smooth and buttery. Not quite sure about making her skin this bright yellow color, but let's see. Could look cool <laughs> if I mix it a bit. Like if I mix it, maybe it'll be okay. It's, it's all an experiment, especially with these crazy colors. It would have been cool to get colors that are maybe not as crazy as this, but still fun. Still fun, guys. Let me know if you've tried these before. They're quite a unique experience, I think. I do like like kind of the kind of the uh, kind of the kind of the crazy vibe that you can get with this. It basically feels very much like the Caranda Ash color ones that I uh, water soluble crayons that I've tried before. If you have seen that, um, I'll link the video up there. But they feel very much like them. I think it's fun, I think. Like, I think that looks really cool. I think you need to add a little bit more pink to her complexion. And I know it looks silly. She's a Simpson, but it's just for experiments. I definitely don't like this drawing. Um, can't remember her name. Something Sharma. I can't remember her name, what's her name? Anyway, in this latest season, can't wait for uh, the next half of season three hate that Netflix did that to me, but then also I'm happy because I did watch it all in like one evening. <laughs> After work I was like, maybe just another episode. Just another, just another. It all went very fast. I'm sorry if you don't like Bridgerton, but I just think it's lots of fun. I like the stories and the characters. Let's do Penelope. Uh, I think Penelope is wearing like this green dress in this image. This is when she's looking outside the window. It's kind of this green dress that has like these blue shimmery, or is it like a light, it's like a light blue shimmery, so let's see if we can reflect that with these colours. Okay, I'm trying to do like light blue here, and then just trying to create that shimmer on the dress. I don't think it's working very well, but I mean you can, if we press like in areas a bit darker where it's shimmering you can kind of see it maybe i definitely don't know if i'm supposed to be pressing this hard for these because i feel like they might run out any <laughs> minute now <laughs> if i'm just pressing so hard and they just melt down like butter like i said just give some hint of what the background is i think it looks cool i think you can definitely see like the shimmer which is fun it will be fine. Although, if I do yellow underneath, maybe I can get that like anime style shimmer underneath. Ooh, crazy blonde highlights. 
I know they're supposed to be water uh, soluble, but I just think this looks cooler than. Maybe it looks a bit stupid, but. Hey ho, worth a shot, isn't it? Did I just say hey ho? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I don't know. Kind of works. I really like the shimmer that I did on her dress. I think that really works. And I do like Elvie's, but I think she's too yellow. Like her skin is too yellow. So maybe if I just try the pink over the top of this white, maybe just in the, the shadows. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks kind of cool. Hmm. I did this picture of, I don't remember her name, but she marries the Duke, the first season. What is her name? So bad with names, but yeah, I did this picture of her and I think it looks nothing like her, but there we go. Well, it has like some resemblance, but it looks a bit weird. Uh, oh, it's so cool when it, when they cross colors. So like if I just do a line like that and then I'll do the blue over the top. It just looks really nice. Look how dirty that looks though. Like, that's cool, that mixture you can get. Lady Sharma. I know her, her name is Sharma, which is so weird, but what's her last, what's her first name? Kate, so that's it, Kate. Um, she looks very weird in this super pink. I wish I had done um, just maybe the shadows. Oh, such a nice buttery, smooth process. I highly recommend this to people who like drawing with crayons. I just think that you will have fun with this. So I have to be really careful. I also really do like the texture that they the colours left before, so I'm going to go back in with this pink and just highlight like the cheeks. I'm just completely exaggerating all the colour obviously on these women's faces, on their bodies. Because who the heck looks like this? No one. But you know, it's fun to do. <laughs> It'd be cool to see this under like a black light, but I don't have one. But it would be cool. <laughs> that looks crazy. I do like the shadows that you can get with this blue though. I think the blue is definitely like the best colour. Because it says fluorescent but it does kind of look a little bit more natural than the other colours. <laughs> yeah, she looks a bit more like a drag queen but I also know, I know that I haven't got the details of the dresses correct at all because there's so much detail in these costumes that I absolutely adore in the show but haven't haven't quite got them down. She looks a bit crazy, but I do like how these two look. I think Kate just, I think I drew her really, like her face proportions are really wrong, but I was trying to use my uh, fountain pen just straight off so I could get used to drawing again straight out of the ink pen instead of, you know, pencil and stuff because it makes you more confident with line and all this stuff. So, you know, it's important. It's quite messy, got quite a lot of mess all over them. Overall, I really like them. I think I might try to see if I can get some neutral colours to try out as well, but very interesting, super interesting art supply. Never experienced something like this before, to be honest. Like, the only similarity is Karen Dash colours, like I said before, but they're still really different, especially with like the twisting element and the way that they feel. And also that they're neon, I haven't tried neon before, but there you go. That is my review of these pasta pens. Let me know if you want to see me try out some more neutral colours. I think I might just get some for fun anyway, because I really enjoy using these. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and sticking around to the end. If you have, give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. Share it with someone, really helps me out. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.